Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Look, no claws. I can't function, I feel so weird right now. Um, halfway through this video, I may have nails back on depending on how long this takes me and where my nail appointment falls today. So, so for those of you that follow me on Instagram, you saw that I was out of the country for a month. I'll explain why in a minute, but uh, I wanna get these disclaimers out of the way first so I'm not burying them in my blabber and just to be very clear. I got a ton of requests while on my trip um, to show what and how I pack my skincare and my makeup, which products I took, etc. So I figured I would break this up into a three-part series. The first one, this one, being in partnership with Sephora, will be everything I took with me that Sephora carries. I will then have a second part after this of products and then a third discussing the planning of the trip, the budgeting, and the cost just so everything is more digestible instead of one giant video, which all my videos are long anyway, but I just figured it would be easier to reference like that. Not only is this video sponsored by Sephora, I am also an affiliate with them. Anything you buy from my links will earn me a commission, just so you are aware. And as always, you are free to find those products directly on your own. Go directly to the site without using my links. Um, no pressure. And as always, full disclosure, this did not need to be brand, product, or price specific. It could be anything that I want that Sephora carries. I love working with them because they allow me to say positives and what I find to be negatives of products. They don't censor me, hence why I choose to work with them so often and very few others. As always, there will be timestamps below if you care to skip ahead and hear me talk less, which I'm sure some of you can't wait for. And as a quick recap, if you're not a member of Sephora's Beauty Insider program, you should join. It's free. You can do it online or in store. It keeps track of the money you spend. You can use those points in exchange for things like deluxe samples, gift cards, which I've bought in a few of those or traded my points in for a few of those, makeovers. Um, sometimes they have trips to meet um, brand owners or like get facials or things like that. The more money you spend, the higher your tier, the higher your tier, the more benefits you have access to. Things like head starts on the VIB shopping events that give you um, and higher discounts, things like that. I'll leave a link below for you guys to learn more if you have any questions about it. Okay, now let's get into where I was gone because again, I have like a fifth of what follows me on Instagram here. So I went to Paris for Sephora European Union Press Day. This was for brands that already sell in Sephora and those markets to sneak peek their holiday collections coming out for beauty publications, magazines, etc. It's also a time where new brands to that market are able to launch with wider publicity than just a random time of the year. I had a girl's trip set up to go to Greece with two of my girlfriends September 16th through the end of September, probably about four months prior to any of this coming up. And then it just so happened that I was going to be in Paris August 31st through September 6th for work. I figured it was pointless to fly home for 10 days to come back to Europe. So I figured I'd make the most of my trip and go see the French Riviera, which is always something that I have wanted to do. So I traveled alone September 6th through September 16th and then I met up with my friends in Greece. I did a lot of Insta stories on my trip and I put them in highlights. It's a fun way for me to be able to look back at the memories and share a lot of info that I learned with you guys if you're ever so interested. To be clear, I do not work for Sephora outside of when I do these sponsored videos with them. I consult for brands and I go to events like this to either present to the press on the brand's behalf to help facilitate in any way needed or even just to support my friends that do own brands. So now that's all out of the way. Um, one of the biggest questions I get, because I do travel a lot for work, and I think most of the time I talk about it on my Instagram because that's easier access than me sitting down, setting up all my lights, filming, filming and the editing. It just takes me a really long time. So filming is, I, I mean, I can't wait until I can actually have like a room where I can have like my lights come out of the, the ceiling and have everything kind of set up all the time so I don't have to constantly set everything up because that's definitely kind of a pain, but anyway. When I travel, if I'm going to do like friends makeups or something for a wedding, I have a big train case like this um, that opens up and there's a whole rolly bag that goes on the bottom, but these things come out and you can put lots of stuff in here. This is something I would take with me as my carry-on if I'm going to like Las Vegas and I was doing my friends makeup for their wedding. Again, I'm not a professional makeup artist, but my friends aren't really that big into makeup, a lot of them, so they weren't looking for anything like too fancy, and it was a nice way to help them save money. So if I'm doing something like that, I'll, I'll take that. Um, and even if I'm going, um, you know, if I'm just going up to like Tahoe or something where I'm getting in my car, I'll put all my skincare and my makeup and things in there because it's 
one area and it's a hard case and I know it's not getting jumbled around and I don't have to worry about anything breaking. So I've never been gone from home for that length of time and the packing was going to be challenging for me because I needed to pack a month's worth of clothes that were going to be business suits for my daytime meetings, um, some business dinners, some more fancy than others. Also kind of like walking around Paris clothes. Um, <clears throat> I typically, when I travel, I always see these like cute Instagram posts of these people wearing all this cute stuff when they travel. I typically wear leggings, flip flops, a tank top, and like a zip up hoodie or something. Um, I'm, again, more function over form. I like to be comfortable, and if I'm on a really long flight, like international flights, I'll wear like fuzzy socks and I just kind of cuddle up on the, the plane and I sleep. I visited Paris once when I was younger, um, I was in high school. And leggings weren't really big then, um, not like they are now anyway. Um, yeah, we really, I think, only would wear them maybe for working out. And now people kind of wear them every day. I knew that wasn't a big thing there, so I needed to make sure I was like kind of packing appropriately um, for, for the culture and just in general the activities I was going to be doing. So I also needed kind of casual walking around Paris clothes, and then I knew I was going to be going down to the French Riviera, so I needed clothes that were gonna be warmer, but again, comfortable enough that I could walk around and see everything I wanted to see, and if the weather did change, blah, blah, blah. And then again, going to Greece, I was gonna need some bathing suits and just different clothes. So I had to pack all my skincare, my makeup, all my clothes and some product samples um, with me. And basically my whole thing was I only wanted to bring two suitcases. I had a big rolly and a smaller rolly. You guys saw those if you watched on my Insta stories. And then I just had like this Lululemon um, gym bag that I used as my carry-on and then just my purse. So I'm gonna show you guys um, what I packed and how I packed it. And uh, again, that might give you a little more explanation because when you're traveling for that long and if you're traveling alone for a while like I did, you can only pack what you're willing to carry because you can't count on anybody else carrying your bags. And if you have to go upstairs or something by yourself, you can't really leave one bag behind while you go and carry up one unless you wanna get it possibly stolen, so blah, blah, blah. So these bags right behind me are what I took with me on my trip. I had um, a daytime skincare, my makeup bag, and then also a nighttime skincare bag. So I'll show you all of that. So I demoed my my daytime skincare, and then I also showed um, this makeup look. I kept my makeup very simple. I've been wearing more simple makeup anyway. The only time I've really been venturing out with eye makeup lately more is when I'm testing some of these eyeshadow palettes. Otherwise, I've kept things kind of simple. Um, I think a lot of it is that with the eyelash extensions, it makes things very easy in the morning for me to just kind of put on a light base, fill in my brows, and kind of be out the door. It's way more simple than um, me even messing with eyeshadow. I just haven't been in the mood. You know how we go in waves or moods or funks or whatever? It's just what I've been doing lately. And for me, when I'm on vacation, I don't want to spend an hour getting ready. I don't think I've ever spent an hour getting ready, but I less is more, especially if you're going to be outdoors and, and warm temperatures and climates. And I have to be very aware of my skin on long flights, that recycled air. I get extremely dry. And in a lot of these places that have air conditioning and things that can dry my skin out as well. So um, again, know your skin type and what products work best for you in those kind of conditions. So I'm gonna split the screen. I'm gonna show you guys me applying these products um, as I'm talking to you about them and why I chose to pick these. And I'm also going to show you um, after that quick little demo on the side some information about the products like I typically do. So while there are many face washes that I love, um, that you guys have heard me talk about multiple times, I chose to bring as my first morning cleanse the Fresh Soy Face Cleanser. You guys have heard me talk about this a lot. They do have this in the smaller size like this, which I like because it's easier to pack. And while there are some face washes I love, they're in like glass jars. I don't want that added weight. I don't want anything that can potentially break. So, I mean, there are some products that I do have that are like that, but I, if I can cut down on them, I'm gonna pick something that's in a lighter container like this. So this is what I used as my cleanser every morning. Then after that, I use a hyaluronic um, serum, which you will see me apply here. But I'll touch on the hyaluronic acid in another video um, just to get more in depth with that. And then after that, I like to go on with a spritz. Now this has been one of my favorite spritz. This is a fresh vitamin nectar antioxidant glow water. The reason I like this is it's alcohol free and it is not in an aerosol, it's a pump. So I even could bring this right on the plane with me in my bag and spritz my face if I was getting dry. Um, the flight from LAX to Paris was 11 hours straight um, and I sleep like a dead person so I honestly slept 
pretty much the entire flight. I woke up to pee, <laughs> but um, it spritzed my face. So I really like this. It's really simple, um, not a lot of bells and whistles, but it's a good antioxidant spray. It feels refreshing, and again, I like it that it's not an aerosol, and it allowed me to take it on the plane with me. I mean, like, in my actual carry-on. Then after that, I went on with a vitamin C, which I have been using the Pharmacy Very Cherry Bright. I've really been enjoying this, and this also helps amplify the effectiveness of your sunscreen, but I, um, I, I have to use vitamin C all the time. It's like, I can't, I can't not do that. So I went on with this after. Then I went on with the Drunk Elephant Bee Hydra Intensive Hydration Gel. Again, um, just to help hydrate my face because of the long flights, because of the air conditioning, I know that my face needed that moisture. Then I went on with the Drunk Elephant uh, Proteiny Polypeptide Cream. And again, these things are packaging that's not glass. That's kind of no muss, no fuss. Like I can throw these in my bag. I know that they're not going to explode everywhere, which again, I appreciate. So I would go on with this kind of as like, again, that um, kind of like protein shake for your face, the amino acids in there, just kind of give my face that bounce. And this is really the thickest moisturizer I would use during the day because again, I was in warmer climates. I'm walking around a lot. So I didn't want anything too heavy because I knew that it would make my foundation kind of slip and slide around on top of it. Then I would go on with the sunscreen whatever sunscreen you want. I really enjoy the Ren Clean Screen Mineral SPF 30. I like mineral sunscreens. Um, this one will leave somewhat of a cast if you're deeper tone, I think. Um, you will see when I first put it on my face that I kind of have one, but as I rub it in more, it absorbs. I really like this. It lays nicely under makeup and it doesn't ball up, which I really enjoy. And I don't know how many of these Laneige uh, lip sleeping masks I've been through. A lot. Um, you can see like these. I mean, you get a lot in here. I love these. I use this almost every single day. Um, I keep one next to my bed as well. I have one in my purse. They're just like balms and things that I can't live without. I mean, it calls it a lip sleeping mask, but I use this all day, so you'll watch me demo this as well. Now, this is all I brought for my skincare. I didn't bring any like essence that I would normally pat on my face. I didn't bring any exfoliating acids, especially in the morning, because I knew I was gonna be walking around way more than I am on a day-to-day -day basis here. Like I walked an average of 12 and a half miles a day according to my watch. I didn't want to photosensitize my skin and I also just knew, um, you know, kind of less is more. I just, and, I, and, I, and being in the sun even with sunscreen or a hat or shade, I didn't want to expose fresh new skin to potential sun damage. So I didn't, I didn't pack an exfoliator like I normally would have in the morning. If you can't tell, I'm letting my hair air dry as well. Okay, so now let's get on to makeup, which I'm going to show you while I'm doing it. Um, makeup, I kept it very, like, I, I kept it extremely simple, or like, simple for me. I brought two foundations. I bought a BB cream or CC cream, and I brought my Natasha Denona Face Glow Foundation. I knew my skin was going to be dry because I was, again, on planes, I was traveling a lot, switching environments, so I knew I was going to want something hydrating, but I also started to find, though, um, when I was walking around and I was getting really hot, that I was starting to get a little um, kind of like dewy and shiny in areas. So I did bring one thing. I was not going to try to keep up with um, a spray tan or anything while I was traveling. I didn't want to be blotchy or look like my face was peeling off in certain areas, so I had had an IPL. Um, not too long before I left, so I hadn't had any spray tan on my skin or anything like that. So when my friend was coming and meeting us in Greece and I knew that we were gonna be in like bathing suits and stuff, she brought some spray tan stuff, so I did bring one deeper color. So the 40 and the Natasha Denona Glow Foundation, which you'll watch me demo, it's my favorite way to apply it, again, for the millionth time, it has to be with a brush and then blend it in with a beauty blender or a sponge, otherwise it will be oily on me and look too much. If I use just a brush, it kind of can and streak and swirl, but it gives this beautiful luminosity and I think it looks like skin. And then I brought the It Cosmetics CC um, cream and I brought this in medium, which when I'm my natural skin color without any um, spray tan or anything, this could be a touch dark. So I can go back and forth between the light and medium. But um, again, knowing once she brought those tanning supplies and I was getting a little shinier than I preferred, I went into one of the Sephora stores when we were in Athens and I picked up this Dior. This is the face and body. And I got it in, I believe this is 4N. Yes, 4N. This is Dior Backstage Face and Body. So I would add just a drop of this or two because this is a little more like a natural matte than a luminous finish. So it kind of like helped balance this out without it being too dewy. So um, 
Um, again, I picked this one up, but again, just knowing that um, if I was my complete like natural shade, which this is, can be even a touch too dark, or if I needed something a little deeper. I did try to avoid the sun like the plague, sunscreen on everywhere, hats on, but as you can see, I, when I'm pressuring on my chest, you can see those little spots. I did my best to avoid it. Um, some days were really long and even reapplying it, I did get some color, which I'm not too happy about because again, I had an IPL not too long before leaving and I really didn't want to mess that up. So try to stay as aware as you can with reapplying sunscreen and again, normally I'm, I'm on it um, one day. I want to talk about the trip. We did a catamaran and there was no shade and even with reapplying sunscreen I still got some sun on my chest. So not a whole lot I can do about it now. And for brows I brought the Hourglass. I love these arch pencils. This is in dark brunette and then my favorite this is the Makeup Forever 272 brush um, just to comb through my eyebrows. And again, I was trying to do like less is more. I didn't want to bring 9,000 products because I don't always use all those things. So this is what I brought for my eyebrows. Then I set my eyebrows with the Benefit 24 Hour Brow Setter, which I really enjoy. I brought two concealers with me. I brought the um, Too Faced, the Born This Way, and this is in light beige, which is my natural color. And then I also brought the Natasha Denona. This is the 10 Neutral, and this is her Transfix Matte Concealer. I actually really enjoy this concealer. You're gonna watch me demo it today. Again, this is one um, that's a little darker than this. So if I needed to like find an in between shade I could mix these two and if I just wanted to use this on its own I could again I don't really highlight with a lighter concealer anymore um, I stopped doing that a long time ago I just found that it didn't suit my face shape then for contour I brought two products I brought the Fenty amber matchstick and I also brought the Charlotte Tilbury contour wand because again I was figuring if I used any of those self tanning products I would be a little darker and I would need this and on my normal skin tone, this one works perfect. This one still works on my skin tone too, but this one is a little more intense for me if I'm kind of doing like an everyday, like today, I'm gonna demo this. And again, you've seen me use both of these things a million times. And again, that packaging is light. I try not to bring like heavy glass bottles of things. For bronzer, um, I wanted to keep it simple. I brought the Charlotte Tilbury um, Film Star Bronze and Glow. I don't ever use this glow really because it's a little too natural for me, but this bronzer I demo today. You guys have heard me talk about it a million times. And again, the packaging is an intense. For blush, I only brought one blush. This is my all-time favorite blush, the Hourglass Mood Exposure. Um, look at this. I finally have hit pan on these and I've had these quite some time. It makes me actually really sad because it's my favorite blush. And then just for a light powder, which I normally don't set my face or anything, but I knew, again, I was going to be walking around and it could be humid and hot. I brought the Charlotte Tilbury um, Airbrush Flawless Finish Powder. This is in one. I probably could have used the middle shade, but um, I just lightly tap that kind of like on my cheeks and right in, not in my T-zone, but just more so in my forehead right here. I don't really ever go down my nose or my chin, but um, just kind of right in here and right underneath my eyes where I can, or like right around my nose where I can feel like I get a little sweaty. I did bring a highlight which was the Natasha Super Glow. Um, you guys have heard me talk about this a million times. I didn't use it once. Um, we went out at night when we were in Mykonos to some clubs and things but I just again I feel like less is more and if I'm in really hot environments I don't want to be worrying that my face is sweating off or moving so and then you see that's all I brought for makeup. Um, for the makeup brushes, again, I brought um, the ones that are available at Sephora. I brought the Makeup Forever 408, which I just demoed. I brought the Makeup Forever to put on my lip balm, the 174, because I don't like dipping my finger into those balms. So brought the Makeup Forever 272 brow brush, because it's my all-time favorite brow brush. Again, it may sound weird, but it's nice and deep, so it really gets in there and like works the product into the hairs, which I like. And then um, if I did highlight, I brought the um, Sephora Pro with the number 98 brush with me. Um, I did do some of my friends makeup a couple of the days and that's because they brought their own um, like I didn't even bring I didn't bring any eye brushes I didn't bring anything because again I was just like I want to get up go and go see all the things that I want to see I didn't want to spend so long doing my makeup I wasn't really having like a self photo shoot anywhere so I was good. So this bag that has all my makeup in it the only thing I would add in was this spray and I would take this with me in my carry-on. This bag that had the rest of my skincare and one other product that I will talk about in um, another video, this I zipped up and this went in my checked on, one of my checked on bags. I do have hard shell suitcases so it's not as likely to get smushed. Otherwise, um, I think the only thing in this bag, or actually two things probably, 
I would have put these two things in Ziploc bags just because I wouldn't want to risk them having exploded in my bag. And anybody that's had that, especially with sunscreen or mineral sunscreen, you know what a gigantic pain in the butt that can be. Now let's talk about nighttime skincare. So I brought the Drunk Elephant, this um, Slay, I think is how you say it, the Makeup Melting Butter Cleanser. I like this one because it is more emollient, um, it's I, or it just gets thicker than some other, like the Pharmacy Green Clean, which I really like too, but um, I do like this one. I took this one with me, I like the little magnetic spoon on top. Um, I'm surprised, I thought for sure I'd lose this, but I really didn't. Um, so at the end of the night, I would just use that. I brought my microfiber washcloth that you guys know I love. I would cleanse that off, and then I would use my Clarisonic and I would use this Belief Aqua Bomb Jelly Cleanser. This is a newer cleanser to me that I've been testing for quite some time. I don't like the Aqua Bomb moisturizer, but I do like this cleanser. It doesn't strip my skin, so, and again, I like this kind of packaging. I didn't want any glass or anything. I could have just reused the soy one that I have for the morning for the fresh, but I just like a different cleanser. So I would put this on my Clarisonic, go over my face, I would use um, the hyaluronic acid that I'll talk to you about at another time. I would spritz my face. I was reusing that fresh spritz um, so I didn't have to double pack extra products. And then I would just go over with my favorite Belief Cream, True Cream Moisturizing Balm. I did not bring my fresh seaberry oil, which is very unlike me, but again, I was trying to limit down on weight and glass products just so I didn't have to. I could have probably put it in another container, but in my typical mummy fashion, I packed two hours before I was supposed to leave for the airport for 30 days, so um, I probably didn't sit down and think about it as much as possible, but I can tell you, I didn't feel like I was missing anything when I got there, and I'm glad I didn't overpack because, again, only pack what you're willing to carry because watch my stories if you go through some of those highlights. There was a time when I got to the train station in Nice, and you had to go up these escalators for me to pick up the rental car, to go up these escalators, and then there were like 20 steps to get up to where the car rental place would. I was like, this makes no sense. Why wouldn't there be an elevator? So I have two bags plus my shoulder bag, and I'm like, oof, oof, oof. I'm like, thank God I've been working out and I got some muscles because that was, by the time I got to the top of that, I was sweating my butt off. I thought I was going to have a heart attack. So. That wasn't fun so again only pack what you're willing to carry yourself and able to so on um, these things this this bag and that purple one I showed you those went into my check bag that smaller rolly bag I put all my like the smaller rolly bag I use my shoes like um, hair straighteners or curling irons or anything like that um, I put that all in the small one and the big one was like clothes and things like that Obviously, everybody's free to pack whatever they want, um, as little or as much as they want. I just figure, again, um, I was happy because it did not take me long ever to get ready. Um, two of the girls that I went with, they like to take a little more time, you know. Every day they'd get up and shower and wash their hair, and I'm like, I wash my hair like every other day, maybe every two days, dry shampoo, unless I'm like at the gym. When I'm at the gym, I wash my hair every single day. And I always rinse my body off, but my just because my skin is dry, my scalp is dry too, so I don't wanna be stripping those natural oils from it. So I would sleep in as much as possible. And since I was on the time zone, um, when I was in Paris, it was plus nine hours from where I am currently in California. And then in Greece, it was plus 10 hours. So I was already on that time zone for two weeks by the time my friends got there. So they were kind of adjusting while I was already kind of like right with it. But I was like, I'm gonna sleep as long as possible. So I would get ready in probably 10 to 15 minutes. It wouldn't take me very long at all and then we'd kind of be out the door. So um, that's what I appreciate when I travel. And again, I've been going for a more, what I consider minimal makeup look. Someone could be like, that is still a lot of makeup, but again, minimal for me. So I'm gonna have a second video after this one where I'm going to touch on a couple more products. I'm gonna to talk to you guys about what I brought for like hair care, um, like body sunscreens and things like that, and just like body lotions and care and, and body wash and things like that and how I packed those things um, if you guys are interested and then again I will have another series where a part of the series where I'm talking to you guys about cost I got a ton of questions about that um, and you'd actually be surprised I think at how again the word affordable is very relative but to be gone for 30 days traveling I think that a lot of people would be like whoa that 
that would be like something completely astronomical. So I can touch on all of that. I'm gonna tell you guys about when I went down to the south of France, the train and all of that stuff um, at a later time. If you guys have any specific questions, please leave them below and I will make sure I touch on those. Um, if you guys are curious, check out my Instagram to see some of the stories. I put the highlights in there and they're all kind of numbered because it kind of like jumped around a little bit. But um, I hope that answered your guys' questions. I would love to hear what are your like must-haves or must-travels with, or if you guys have any certain travel tips that you would like to um, tell people about packing with their products. Um, thank you so much for tuning in, guys, and I will see you next time. Bye.